When you get ready to oil your trumpet valves, do them one at a time. I'm going to do the first valve by turning this piece here called the valve cap counterclockwise. Notice I'm not turning this, which is the valve button, but the valve cap. Once it releases, I'm going to pull the valve out partially until I can see the piston. The piston is this silver part here, and that's where we're going to put the valve oil. So we're going to drizzle some valve oil on that piston and then we're going to set it back into its casing. And this piece here, this white piece is called the valve guide and it has to line up perfectly. So as I set the piston back in, I'm now going to use this piece here, the valve button, and I'm going to start turning it until I hear a click and it seats itself. Once it's seated, I'm going to then turn the valve cap clockwise to thread it back on. The threads are very fine, so be careful. If you feel any resistance, back up and start over on, the, on this valve cap so the threads do thread properly. Again, do this one valve at a time because the pistons inside are not the same. And if you would take them all out and put them in in reverse order or some other order than one, two, three, you would have problems playing your trumpet. So again, only one at a time. Another little tip is never turn this piece counterclockwise. If you start turning this counterclockwise, eventually what you will do is unscrew the valve stem, this is the valve stem, from the piston. And we can see what will happen when we do that. We'll open this up. It all falls apart. So again, this piece here called the valve button, only turn that clockwise. Sometimes you'll see a trumpet player try to oil their valves from the bottom and through the bottom valve cap. This is pretty futile because the oil ends up going all over the place. And even if you unscrew this and look inside, what you'll see is that you're actually only getting oil on the bottom of the piston and there's a little hole right there. So oftentimes the oil just goes into that hole, fills this bottom cavity here, then comes right back out and drips on your pants. So never oil your trumpet from the bottom, but always from the top.